What are your thoughts on testosterone gels? Well, I'm not against, you know, I'm not against topical testosterone. I think that when you use androgel in men, you are going to definitely get a limited benefit. So you are going to raise the testosterone, but you're not going to raise it that much. So it really depends on where you're starting and where you want to be. Um, I know some people are just dead set against injecting themselves. And, and I get that injecting yourself is not for everybody. So androgel can be a good alternative, but know that you're not, not going to have the same results as you do with an injectable product. Now I don't have any experience using androgel for women, but I do have experience using compounded topical testosterone for women. And you can get good results with that for sure. The compounding pharmacy that we work with at the Medical Health Institute, Crestview Pharmacy in North Florida, they're amazing. I love them. They make us these rapid dissolved tabs. And I really like the tabs. You, you take the tab, you break it in half and you put both pieces underneath your tongue and you let it dissolve. And I know that there's a lot of controversy about sublingual hormones and people say, well, sublingual is really oral, you know, you're really swallowing it and, and swallowing estrogens and testosterone is not great for you because the liver doesn't really like it. But I would, I would beg to differ. I, I think that the old sublingual preparations were very different than the sublingual preparations we have now. So I do agree in the past that a lot of the sublingual stuff really was oral, but Crestview, I've looked at all of their data. They make amazing products and they genuinely are absorbed into the blood vessels underneath the tongue. They don't affect the liver. It's, it's genuine sublingual administration. And so I think that that's to me just, just so easy. Uh, you know, the creams can get kind of messy and you never really know. You have to really rub it in so hard to try to drive it through the epidermis into the dermis and you never really know if you're rubbing it in hard enough. And I, I, I mean, I love these sublingual tabs. Mm -hmm. Let's also add that compounded testosterone at 10 to 20% cream transcrotally for men is also a good option, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But again, like you really have to rub it in, um, you know, pretty vigorously to drive it through the epidermis into the dermis. So I, I don't know. I mean, and, and then I know I've had plenty of patients complain over the years about androgel and test, especially test him that it, it's, it's like sticky and it doesn't dry well. And like, so I, I, I'm not against those things at all, but, but I think that there's other methods that, that may be easier to use. Okay.